When it comes to filing your taxes online, is there ever really such a thing as free, as a free, completely free filing? <laughs> well, actually there is. In this video, we are covering the best free tax software in 2023. It's Justine with the College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. And if you're anything like me, you're always looking for not only a bargain and looking for a really good deal, but also looking for really good quality. And that's no exception when it comes to filing your federal and state taxes online. So we've done extensive research, walkthroughs, and reviews. You can find all of that at thecollegeinvestor.com. In today's video, we are talking about the best free tax software for the year. Let's get into it. Okay, what I wanna do in this video is give you the list and then also tell you which tax software has different qualifications for their free tier. Now, let's start off with the only truly 100% free filing situation for your tax return, and that's with Cash App Taxes. Cash App Taxes, formerly known as Credit Karma Taxes, has a very robust user experience. It's very intuitive, simple. I love how they have a vertical layout to their dashboard. A lot of times I see the same tax software dashboard kind of set up in this horizontal menu. If you've been following these videos, you know that I really appreciate a good aesthetic when it comes in to my tax software because I wanna be sure that I'm able to see exactly what I need to upload and where and just understand what they're asking. I'm not a tax accountant, so I wanna make sure that I understand completely what my tax software is asking of me. Cash App Taxes does a really good job of making things simple and keeping the user experience very clean so I understand exactly how to upload those forms. So no matter if you have a 1099, a W-2, social security income, child care expenses, student loan interest deductions, all of that is included in their free tier. The next best thing to Cash App Taxes is H&R Block, the free tier. H&R Block actually has a bunch of different tiers depending on what your tax filing situation is. Generally, the more complex your tax filing situation is, the more likelihood it is that you're going to bump up into a paid option. So let me tell you exactly what's included in the free tier. In the H&R Block free tier, that includes W-2 income, credits and deductions, qualifying tuition payments, student loan interest deductions, the earned income tax credit, the child tax credit, and any retirement income. If you have anything outside of that list, you're most likely going to have to bump up into that deluxe tier, which would be the paid, the first paid tier of H&R Block. But I feel like this has a lot of options going on in the free edition that makes it really worth considering. H&R Block has been around for years years. Yes, they are the more premium, but if you have any of these tax forms that fall into the free tier, this is definitely the way to go. If you have limited needs and simple returns, then the next option you want to take a look at is TurboTax. Again, TurboTax is a premium software product, but they actually have a really robust free tier system. The free version supports W-2 income, limited 1099 interest and dividend income, 1099K income, student loan interest, child tax credit, and the earned income tax credit. If you have any other tax situations that fall outside of these options and these tax forms, then you're most likely going to bump up into the next paid tier. TurboTax has a really robust tax software. It's definitely a premium product and you get a premium experience inside of it. This one is definitely worth considering. If you want to get your taxes done and done right, this is an option to take a look at. The next option to take a look at is Tax Act. If you are a simple filer, you have just a few forms Thin Tax Act may be an option to consider. The one caveat here is that it's not truly a free tax software. The state return is actually going to be an additional $39.95 in order to file that state return. Now, if you don't have to file a state return, in which most cases people generally do have to file a state return, then you probably are going to look somewhere else with the other options that I mentioned. However, in the free edition of Tax Act, you can report W-2 income, education expenses, and the child tax deductions. Anything outside of those, so this is a little bit more limited than the other options that I mentioned. Anything outside of that, you will have to bump up into the next paid option. And then again, the state filing is not included. You're going to have to pay an additional 40 bucks 
to make that happen in Tax Act. Another option outside of Tax Act is Free Tax USA. Free is in the name, so you kind of assume that it would be free, right? wrong. Well, the state return is going to cost you $14.95. Now that's a lot cheaper than Tax Act and you can claim any tax forms, any tax filing situations in Free Tax USA, just that additional $14.95 for the state return. I really like Free Tax USA because it's a very simple interface and there's not a lot of bells and whistles so you kind of can go through, especially if you filed your taxes in the past previously, you have a little bit of experience. And then this tax software is really going to help you just breeze right through that whole filing situation, get those things uploaded very quickly and then pay a minimal 15 bucks for the entire process. Another solid choice would be Tax Hawk. Very similar to Free Tax USA, it's going to cost you $14 per state filing in order to file your state return inside of Tax Hawk. However, that federal filing is going to be free no matter what your tax filing situation is. It's a very easy dashboard to get in and start uploading those tax forms. Some manual process obviously goes into using something like Tax Hawk because there's not a whole lot of automatic import capabilities with this tax software, but you get what you pay for. I mean, $15 to do your entire tax return using their software is a really good deal. Okay, if you truly have one of the most simple tax filing situations out there, which would be W-2 income or unemployment income, then you would qualify for the free edition of Tax Slayer. <laughs> That's the only two options you really have in order to qualify for their simply free edition. Now, what's great about this option is that both state and federal filing situations are free using TaxLayer. I really like TaxLayer's interface. I feel like they're constantly improving and upgrading their software year over year. And I really like to see that because they're paying attention to how tax filers are using their system and making enhancements based off of user experience. So TaxLayer could be a really good option for you if you have a very, very simple filing situation. If you have anything beyond that, like literally anything beyond that, you're going to have to bump up into their paid option. But honestly, the paid options aren't that bad either. Lastly, let's give an honorable mention to easytaxreturn.com. This is available to a very limited subset of people, those who make less than $50,000, not have any dependents, and can only claim their W-2 income. Keep in mind though that easytaxreturn.com does charge for the state filing. Also, let's give another honorable mention to the IRS free tax forms that you can find on irs.gov. If you're used to doing your taxes the old school way with maybe a pen and paper, these fillable forms may be the next best thing to a typewriter, <laughs> which I feel most of us are probably going to steer clear and avoid these types of forms from the IRS and go with a tax software that does a little bit more handholding and guidance. But if you have little income and little deductible expenses, the free fillable forms could work for you. So keep in mind, a lot of these tax filing situations may not apply to you or very limited tax filing situations that would help you qualify for that free tier of these types of different tax software. The only truly free tax software available in 2023 is Cash App Taxes. I really liked the software. It was very easy to use inside. I also really like H&R Block, TurboTax, and Tax Slayer. If I was going to go with a bargain deal, Tax Slayer would be my option. If I was going for premium, I would take a look at H&R Block, but if I'm really just trying to focus on free and get the best value, Cash App Taxes is the way to go. If you like this tax software review series, give this video a big thumbs up. Tell us in the comments, what are you using for your tax software this year? And we'll catch you in the next video.